Yes, sir, the uh, bread's just down in aisle four. Thanks. Oh, hi there. How can I help? Oh, you want me to tell you about the Superstore series? <sighs> you got it! Superstore was created by Justin Spitzer, and if you're unfamiliar with that name, he was one of the main writers on the US office. It's a story about a workplace with an off-the-wall boss called Glenn, uh, will they won't they romance between Amy and Jonah, and a whole bunch of people who might well rather be working anywhere else, but they are nonetheless relieved to still have their low wage job. Have you finished watching The Office and Parks and Recreation for the 100th time and are looking for something with similar humour? Yes! 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 Superstore has just the thing you need for your lockdown blues. If you've worked in retail, like myself, or you just work for a company that doesn't care about you, then you will relate to this so much, and it only just elevates the humour. Even if you have done neither of those two, I still think you'll be very entertained and it's very funny. It's a show about how a lot of the working class survives by working in this menial retail job, which isn't as rewarding as they'd hope it'd be, but it does pay some of the bills. The show is careful not to do stories where characters inexplicably come up with money when they need it for some kind of emergency. If someone's car breaks down, they're taking the bus. Hey! Stop the bus! The show is really well made. There are many running gags throughout. There have also been many instances of jokes and incident callbacks, which is very rare among the comedies. Most of the comedies show something cool, and don't deem it necessary to run with it further. Then there are at least a couple of five second clips of the supermarket nuances every episode, where it shows random people doing really weird things, thinking nobody is watching them. I'm sure we've all done something weird or random when we think we're not being watched, right? Superstore is an engaging and light-hearted show, which uses relatable hijinks and comedy in a familiar setting to explore some of the deep divisions, issues and realities found in modern American society. But the reason Superstore never feels like it's trying to teach you a moral lesson is because the show's characters discuss their issues in the way that might naturally come up in real life. It feels very much intentional and an important part of what makes this series fundamentally comedic. The show deals with romance very well. By featuring several kinds of romantic plots, the series can sprinkle them throughout its other stories to provide a little pop of something else here and there. It all adds up to a rich stew of a show, one that is interested in how much these romantic connections are driven by genuine attraction and love, and how much they stem from circumstance from the simple boredom of being around the same people every day. One of the best things a comedy can do is find scene types that become something of a trademark that no other show can pull off nearly as well. The break room scenes on Superstore are cousins to the conference room scenes on The Office or the study room scenes on Community, but they are also completely their own thing. If only because of the way Superstore uses them to put the many plots spinning in each and every episode on a collision course. They're incredibly funny, full of heart and shot through with a darkly comedic streak. Most of the cast are very strong comedians and they deliver their lines each with a unique sense of perspective. The writing does have its weak points but at other times it is very strong and the scenes and situations feel largely unique. Some of the characters can sometimes be a bit too much and a bit annoying but that doesn't take anything away from how great the other actors are. I mean hell, we've all got someone that we find annoying in a TV show. Superstore has been under the radar for way too long now, and it needs to be appreciated more. It's very entertaining, smart, and funny. It's one of the few shows on television that's actually trying to talk about America as it is right now. But it's not so serious that it can't function as great comfort food that you can just watch when you want something familiar and funny. Do I think this is as good as the US office or Parks and Recreation? I wouldn't say so, but I would say that it is very close, and you should still definitely go and watch this. It is so funny and it had me in absolute tears more than a few times. Go and watch this on Netflix right now. This gets an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching my review. If you enjoyed it, go and hit that like button as it is the best way to help me out. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because I've got plenty more reviews coming your way. Have you seen Superstore yet? Or have I convinced you to watch it? 
let me know down below in the comments. I would love to chat to you about it. I also have Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below in the description. Go and follow me on there to see what I'm getting up to in the future. Well, that is me done for now. You lot take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And that is me, out. Hey,